Hello and welcome. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make some quick and easy chicken tacos and the fun doesn't stop there, amigos. I'm gonna show you how to make that refreshing drink y'all been asking me about on Instagram. <laughs> what I have here is a rotisserie chicken from my local HEB. And all you wanna do is you wanna just make sure to shred your chicken. Nicely, a lot of you like to put it in your stand mixer, go for it. But I still like to impress my family by taking the rotisserie chicken and just shredding it myself. It's a lot of fun <laughs> when you engage, right? Yes, so If you're it in is. a hurry, then do what you gotta do. You know, the one that I'm using today is from HEB and it's the mesquite barbecue. And no, it's not a barbecue flavor, it's just that mesquite, my darling. It's amazing. It's cooked on mesquite, right? It's cooked on mesquite and ooh. Now, did you pick up ice cream while you were there? We don't wanna talk about that, but yes. Thank you, honey. Ooh. Yes, I did. Mm. Oh my goodness, now you're I'm, right. like, I'm gonna thinking about these tacos and ice cream. Oh, oh. <laughs> now with that special drink you're gonna show us. Oh, that drink is gonna be fire, friends. Make sure to stick around to the end. It is gonna keep you so nice and fresh, and the best part is that you will be able to spike it if you want. Yummy. A lot of you moms have been asking me for some wonderful drinks, and that's one that you can spike up. Or things you can put in your adult sippy cup. Your adult sippy cup, yes. And for the chicken, I really don't need to do anything, but I love pepper, and that's the only reason I'm adding a little pepper. If you like any other of your seasonings, this is the moment where you wanna add that. And all we're gonna do is warm up some tortillas, friends, and I don't mean to brag, but I did get the 80 count from HEB, and these are great for making this style of tacos and a lot of other tacos, and you guys know, they're great for everything. I love HEB. <laughs> I'm a fan. <laughs> The other 60 tortillas that were in there. We don't want to talk about that here, but if you guys follow us on our personal Instagram, we'll share more about that. Take your corn tortilla and place it in your pan. What we are doing here, we just want to warm up our tortilla. All you want to do is warm it up 10 seconds on each side, just so that when we fill our tortillas with our chicken, it's not falling apart. And that happens with any corn tortilla. I really like this burner, but why are we cooking on it? We're currently cooking on a burner because we have a lot of friends that don't have access to a stove at the moment and no matter where you're at, if you're at the park and you have your burner, you have a grill, you guys should be able to make really good and delicious food and I love you guys. And make it comfortable. For your home, wherever that might be. That's correct. Once you warm up your tortillas, you wanna add some oil to your pan and add a good amount until you cover the bottom of your pan with oil. We're not deep frying today, but we do need a good amount. If you want them crispy, bring on some oil. Don't look at me like that, Cloud. You are gonna enjoy these crispy tacos today. I saw you eating carrot sticks. <laughs> Take your corn tortilla and fill it up. What I like to do sometimes, just so that it doesn't move when we place it down, is I like to squeeze the chicken because it's so nice and soft that it doesn't need anything to bind it. You don't like the way it moves, right? I do like the way things move, but just for this chicken and the popping purposes, you don't want that. I appreciate you. So once you fill it up just like this, you're gonna place it into your hot oil. And when you're gonna place your taco down, make sure that you're placing it down and away. Remember, down and away. That's why you wanna pick the thinnest corn tortillas for your tacos because once you're done uh, prepping and placing that last taco, you already have to flip it because they're so thin and everything's already nice and cooked inside. So you're just saying it's gonna cut my time. It's gonna cut your time, quick but and easy. But not the flavor, hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I love that kind of cookie. <laughs> And you see how when you have the thin tortillas, you can just even put them flat like that and boom, done, you know? So beautiful. I didn't know, but now I do. <laughs> when you're making tacos, remember to place them on a rack and let that oil drip off on its own because what happens if you put them on a paper towel, they just absorb the moisture and it creates steam and we don't want that. I'm gonna continue with the rest of our tacos. Add your green salsa. If you need help making a green salsa, we'll link the recipe in the description area. Add your tacos, your cream. Your avocado, your guacamole, your salsa. Lettuce. Cotija Mexican cheese. 
thinly sliced red radish, and some pickled purple onions. Now, for those of you that have been asking me about that drink on Instagram, it is quite refreshing and addictive. You are gonna need key limes. If you don't have key limes, you can use a lime or a lemon, but for those of you that love those tart flavors, get the key lime. I'm gonna squeeze two key limes in here, and clouds I'm only gonna make with one because she doesn't really like it. She likes a drink, but she doesn't like things that are super tart. I like things that are mildly tart. Mildly tart? Mm-hmm. Yes. You're very well balanced, Cloud. Thank you. I'm centered in the lime department. Okay, so go ahead and add that. You're gonna add your favorite hot sauce. The sauces I recommend are Tapatio and Valentina. And friends, I'm gonna tell you something. This is a great drink for hangovers in the morning. Some tajin. But I'm also gonna say, if you have some kind of indigestion situation going on, that's, it's a really good drink for that. For indigestion, yes. It is, it helped me out a lot. It's because I had a lot of tacos that day. I'm gonna add some chamoy. Cloud, are you gonna want chamoy in yours? Yes. Really? I am. <laughs> okay. So now, you can choose any type of mineral water. The best ones are the Topo Chico or your HEB brand. The HEB brand is a little bit less carbonated, but it's so good and refreshing. You're gonna pick whatever flavor that you like. We have the lime, we have the grapefruit, and we have the original. I'm gonna go with grapefruit. Cloud, what do you like? Let's go with the original. I knew it. Such a classy lady. Basic team right here. Ooh, ooh. Go ahead and pour it in. And I will let you guys know that this it's so good, you just wanna sip on it all day long. Where's my little spoon? Here it is. Go ahead and mix all your ingredients. Perfect. Once you mix your ingredients and you taste it, go ahead and add a little bit of salt. I like it salty, because it has a tartness. Hear that? He can't because my water. I'm salivating over here. <laughs> Are you? Now here where it's gonna get really fun. For those of you that love the regular ranch water, this is your ranch 2.0. We're gonna get really dirty with this. And I love whiskey. But for those of you that love tequila, I don't feel like having a confession today. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna add your desired amount of whiskey. How, how many shots was that? Don't worry about it. Just for our friends, so they know they want to make it just like you. I will make a suggestion down below, but remember to always make it comfortable for your home. I've tasted this. I'm going to add a little bit more lime to mine. Like I said, I like it tart, almost like a whiskey sour with a kick. Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> friends are going to ask you to rim it with chili. Huh? Our friends are going to ask you to rim it with chili. This remember with chili? It's too much, isn't it? For this the one? chili's already inside in the tahini. Oh, I can rim it with chamoy. I don't like to rim mine. Oh, for this one, it's because it's on the go. Yeah, exactly. Friends, you can rim this, you can do whatever you want, but remember, this recipe is a quick and easy one. We want to get our drink and our tacos, so make sure that you're adding crushed ice. It tastes way better with crushed ice. And boom, done, amigos. Let's give this a good taste. Salud. I love it, I love it. You know when that lemon hits you in the back? Right here, just perfect. That whiskey, woo! Uh, what do we have today? Uh, Crown Black, if you guys are gonna use Crown Apple for this and that's all you have, make it comfortable for your home, but just a regular whiskey will do. Let me know what kind of whiskey you guys like. I'm a fan of Canadian whiskey. Cloud, what about you? You think Drake drinks this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna get started on Cloud's drink, so one second, friend, you're gonna get two. Thank Elias. you, appreciate you. And since you're driving right now, girl, you're not getting. That's right, remember not to drink and drive and also be safe. Don't hurt anyone's feelings, just enjoy your moment and make sure that you're following your local regulations and laws. Okay, how many taps do you want of this hot sauce? How are you feeling, spicy or mild? Mild. Yeah, look at the Yeah, just six little taps. You can handle that heat, girl. Tajin, a little bit. 
And surprisingly, usually tajin pulls through so strong on all your drinks, not on this one. And I usually don't go with tajin anytime on my drinks, but with this one, I prefer the powder in there. When it's floating around in your mouth, it just feels great. Don't like pop rocks. <laughs> yeah. Friends, for those of you that are not familiar with chamoy, it is a really um, a hibiscus chili syrup, and it just goes great with most of the Mexican snacks. Don't skip out on it in this drink. We have a recipe, homemade chamoy, if you cannot access the mega brand. All right. For a regular girl. Original. Just a classic girl, aren't you? I don't know about all that. I'm right in the middle, I would say. So beautiful. I know. I'm so excited for you guys to try this. I almost reached for the bottle, but you're not going to have that. Let me give this a final mix and then I'll fill you up with some ice, Mika. Thank you. The perks of working with views on the road. <laughs> you happy, Dan? Yes. All right, amigos. Say ah. I'm gonna get so messy. That salsa is perfect, the chicken is perfect. The crunch is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the whole combination is amazing, friends. When you pick up your taco, don't put it back down, just eat it and come back and just dip it in that sauce. And it's just perfect. This is so good and the sauce is just perfect with your taco. You want to pick up anything that you drop in that sauce, in the salsa. So it's your spoon. It's your spoon, it's your tortilla, it's everything. Amigos, you're going to have to excuse me because I'm just going to devour these tacos and make sure you tag me when you make them because this combination together is that good. And if you spiked it with a little whiskey, please let me know. Let us know. You know where to find us. Mm. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.